Minister for Interior Lubumi Tsunji Ojo has urged private security operators in Nigeria to settle for more training and retraining standardized processes if they must be relevant in the scheme of discuss. He was speaking at the three private security conference in Lagos. Focus revolved around the need to fill the inadequacies in the public security space, but to achieve this, they have to be fully professional to be trusted for that role. The most move and migrate to the arena or to the area and the area when we see it as a career. The question is this, how, what is our methodology? How do we aim to migrate from auxiliary status that we are in at the moment? to a career-driven profession that we ought to be. Private security is not a poverty alleviation program. Let's get that straight. You're talking about security. It's not a poverty alleviation program. Honestly speaking, I want you, if you really want to go into private security as a business, you I must be able to critically analyze not just your documentation, even your statement of intent and the patterns of it. People with not just relevant but cogent experience. As persons in this industry, it's high time we go professional. It's high time we standardize our industry. That is the only way we can make a difference in our present world. And for this, security expert private security are also in the business of creating jobs as they take millions off the street, but they must be allowed to be able to compete with their foreign counterparts. Uh, in a scenario where we have about 518 to one officer, definitely there's a huge vacuum, there's a gap that they need to fill, and they are the only ones that can fill such vacuum. So we must look at professionalism, we must look at uh, rebuilding trust, between them and the citizens. We must also look at how they will be able to critically have a role to play in terms of the internal security architecture of, um, of Nigeria. So it's a big one. The issue of uh, public security, it doesn't lend itself to, you know, uh, uh, cost-benefit analysis. But that's what the private security does. You know, so you can always see uh, where they are coming from. But they are both complementary, you know. Um, once they take people off the streets, they are creating jobs. Then it means that when you create jobs, you know, then uh, insecurity will, uh, will, will be mitigated. The private security industry in Nigeria to play the role that um, pri other uh, private security players across the world are playing, these three things will have to be achieved. The standardization, improved training, and then of course the professionalism, professionalism of the sector. Uh, for that to happen, the government would need to allow the private security the space for it to operate. I use the example of South Africa, where private security um, industry players are allowed to bear arms if they meet certain criteria. So I think we need to go to, um, to, to that, on that route.